Welcome to Lesson 2, 11.2 Graphical Techniques. This will cover both your exams and your experiments, your internal assessment that's worth 20%. So I'm going to focus on that uh, because you only are limited in what you can do for your exams anyway. So I'm going to cover the best way to do your graphs. So terminology first, directly proportional means when you increase, increase x, you increase y. And uh, so usually they, they have x is proportional to y. And that can be a straight line or that can be a curve. Inversely proportional is the opposite. So x is equal to 1 on y, uh, and that's going down as either a, a line or a curve. Lastly, just to cover our bases here, you're often going to have to work out the line of best fit. So just remember uh, that's delta y on delta, delta x. So that's the slope in y equals mx plus c, and just remember uh, the intercepts uh, here. So what are we looking for in a perfect graph? Well, let's just see what's wrong with this one first. First of all, it should be a line of best fit. So I can't see the line there. It should look something like this. I can't draw it very well. Smooth around like that, and it should be smooth. Uh, that's very badly drawn. So if I can draw a little bit better one here, it should something look something like this. All right, drawn with the computer. You'll have to draw that by hand if it's a test. Now, what is good about this one? Uh, what else is bad, sorry? We see one more thing. The uncertainties should be there. Now, that's plus or minus point 0.1, so that may be visible if you draw it in here, but this one is minuscule. So it's unlikely, so you need to say in brackets, uh, error bars too small to be seen. Okay, I'll show you a graph, the second graph next, that is the good one. So what is good about this one? First of all, the labeling and the units and the uncertainty. Second, the uncertainty sig figs are seen on the graph. So this is, you can only do this in certain programs, but if you can't do it, you're gonna have to put a text box over the top and make sure it's done. So there's three sig figs here. Uh, sorry, three decimal places here. So you should see three decimal places here. The, the graph, I can see the graph grid lines, I can see the points, it's well annotated, I can see the line of best fit for this section and I think this section, and the, the relevant annotations are also in here, and I just can't see the line of best, the main line of best fit, the curve, and so apart from that it's a very good graph, this is helpful too because I need this for my calculations. So the previous graph was just missing this, it was missing the error bars, and the horizontal error bars are too small to be seen, but that's okay because it's said down here. And the line of best fit, which is here, is clearly indicated. So if you combine uh, the error bars and the line of best fit to the previous graph, you would say that that is a perfect graph. That's all the boxes ticked uh, for IB chemistry.